in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed hallelujah hallelujah now please hear me shortly before i begin to pray for the sick the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing a door and i'm seeing a padlock on it and the lord is telling me this is a representation of many people's destinies the lord is asking me to prophesy that opening i'm going to pray now and the power of god will come upon you i speak to every closed door every close destiny by the apostolic and the prophetic in the name of he who died and rose again a father be open either and tita a father be open doors be open gates be open doors be open gates be open hallelujah for all who have come out by the spirit this is not just some pentecostal charismatic jamboree god is in the business of releasing people those of you in front here i command the spirits that have oppressed you in the name of jesus let them go now go 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 out of their lives in the name of jesus we bring liberty for where the spirit of the lord is the Bible declares that there is liberty. Kenya, let me prophesy to you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost. Everything that was stolen Come on prophesy Everything that was lost Shall be returned unto you Everything that was stolen Shall be returned Personalize that prophecy Everything that was lost Shall be returned unto me Everything that was stolen We bring liberty in the name of Jesus. Now, I'm about to pray for the sick. But in Jesus' name, if you came here carrying any bracelet or any crutch or anything and you could not walk, in the name of Jesus, lift it up now and walk. Lift it up now and walk by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Lift it up now and walk. Please don't force anybody. Lift it up now. Make sure they are walking. Don't put pressure on anyone. In the name of Jesus, I release miracles right now. Everywhere. Miracles right now. Everywhere. Miracles right now. Everywhere. Now, listen. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to lay your hands where you are trusting God for healing right now. Lay your hands. Any part of your body you are trusting God for healing, lay your hands. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. I'm about to pray for you. Now watch this. 
when these people are fine they can return back to their seat to clear the way here's what i want you to do please let me have maybe two pastors here and two pastors here we are going to pray and the moment the power of god touches you i'm going to ask you to check yourself the moment you find out that a miracle has happened will give you room to run and come here a few pastors will examine you and then will take a few testimonies may i again request that those who are helping me with the flags please if you do get the flags and you're ready let's have it so that we'll drop it here we're about to do something prophetic over kenya hallelujah praise god now lay your hands i'm going to pray for you right now i believe in the healing power of jesus miracles are already happening what is that it's like a miracle has happened there give Jesus praise Now, please lay your hands. Let's work with time. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. There is no one else. There is no one. Begin to walk in the name of Jesus. Lay your hands here. I want to pray for you. Happen. Look at this. Look at this. Bring them up here. You are great. You do miracles. There is no one else like you. There is no miracle there there's another miracle there remember what I taught you listen someone has been healed please don't put pressure on anyone if they are not strong and they cannot walk please don't force them pastors help them we are not faking it here please don't put pressure on anyone get a seat for them please just bring those who have been fully healed that we can testify don't put pressure on anyone please please don't put pressure on anyone who cannot walk please pastors please ensure that please 
look at this someone is walking there someone is walking there come on Kenya Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The sinners and angels bound, the redeemed worship you now. lay your hands let me pray those who have been healed from wheelchairs and crutches are not the only ones sick so we're going to be praying right now look at this another miracle has happened by God look at this ladies and gentlemen this right here is a statement from heaven is more than saying a man is anointed no joshua selman is too small a reason for this greater than a man this is a revelation of the love of jesus that he's alive alive indeed lay your hands let me pray for you now agree with me in the name of jesus can you shout a loud amen? amen in the name of Jesus amen. I want to release miracles now in the name of Jesus amen. every devil of infirmity amen. I command that you leave God's people now amen. leave God's people now amen. hallelujah in the name of Jesus every blind eyes be open now look at this this is for who look at this I remember you remember seeing this in TL Osborne's crusades where a leg will grow out supernaturally amazing what God can do we're praying every blood condition be healed now HIV be healed now cancer be healed in the name of Jesus every deaf ear be open now every lump breast lumps I command that you disappear now Peptic ulcer be healed now the Lord is showing me someone you have a severe back pain around your lumbar area the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus someone you came here you're not completely blind but you could not see well with your right eye check it now I command that eye to be opened now the Lord is showing me someone you couldn't lift your hands. I don't know if it's stroke or something. Check yourself now. I command those hands to be released now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, hear me. The Lord is showing me at least four people. I'm seeing growths in your stomach something that looks like fibroids in the name of Jesus I command that it dissolves and disappears now high blood pressure it goes down now in the name of Jesus Christ high blood pressure goes down now please can we have pastors to help them please don't force anyone please if they are not yet strong just give them a seat to sit down please don't put pressure on anyone please hallelujah place your hand I'm praying for you 
there's someone your i don't know it looks like your tie it's like you have a problem with it i don't know what the problem is but in the name of jesus i declare may the power of god touch you right now anyone with stroke be healed now in the name of jesus there is someone you could not smell i don't know it's like you lost your sense of smell i command that it be restored now in the name of jesus now every other sickness whether i mentioned it or not in the name of he who died and rose again be healed now be healed now be healed now be healed now now here's what i want you to do for me please listen i want you to check yourself right now and do what you couldn't do the moment you find out that god has done something a notable miracle and you have been touched i want you to run is there any pastor here where are the pastors wave your hands so they see you you can come to this man or that man very quickly let's have a few of the testimonies whilst that is happening do you still have your prayer requests how many of you are yet to submit your prayer requests wave your hands and let me see you please ushers hallelujah i want to give everyone a prayer point before we take a few testimonies say after me in the name of jesus i decree and declare that everything stopping my advancement is hereby destroyed open your mouth and begin to pray i decree in the name of jesus it's a season of progress for me check yourself check yourself you find out a miracle has happened make your way right now to the front make your way right now to the front miracles are happening are you celebrating those who are coming miracles are happening hallelujah now please come let's take a few testimonies someone come stand what's your name darling my name is Beatrice. Please help us with the sound. My name is Beatrice. What happened to you? I had a terrible accident. Listen, I... listen, listen. Can you be seated for a minute? So it just helps us to manage this. What happened to you, my dear? I was involved in an accident along the You were involved in an accident? A terrible accident. I fractured my right side. You fractured which of the legs? This one, but oh, multiple. Can you imagine? She was involved in an accident and had a fracture. Where? The both of my right side. My pelvic had Your pelvic expanded. And right now? It had split. Oh, your pelvic has splitted. Yes. My God. Look at this. And what happened to you tonight? I have received healing. Completely. Walk. 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 Look at this. Look at this. It's amazing what God can do. Listen, if God can fix this, is it your business he cannot fix? If God can fix this, is this your family that he cannot fix? Let me prophesy to you that in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, everything that needs to be adjusted to be kapakatoshketebata, in the name of Jesus, let it be corrected now. Let it be adjusted now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Very quickly. Look at this. What's your name, sir? My name is Njiruro Kenya. Okay. I'm a median guy. What happened to you? I started having a problem with my hips last year. Okay. Can you hear him? Okay. Go yeah. ahead. And I started seeing specialists in hospitals since last year. Oh, she was blind. short-sighted not not completely blind for how long yes. and right now oh come on Kenya come on Kenya
Ask her to speak any language at all. It doesn't have to be English. Please, don't put that body. Any language at all she's comfortable with. You can't. The leg was uh, sick. Okay. It was arthritis. And right now? And now? Saizi? Tell her to she, she used to work with uh, Anina. Look at this. Oh, come on. Are you ready with that Kenyan song? He's, he's exalted as Lord and Christ, even over Kenya. Just two, three minutes when I was going out, I hope, help them. <laughs> I wish you could get okay please give the pastors a mic so that we can take a few testimonies god yes. is doing miracles now yes There's a lady here yes please she has had arthritis arthritis she couldn't lift up her hands like this she couldn't lift her hands at all, at all. for how long for how long for nine years nine years lift yes, it sir. up now yes sir lift it up now look at this there is another, another miracle here yes sir. There's a lady here for two weeks. Her fingers and all her joints were stiff. Okay. And she, she couldn't, stiffness. She, yes. Yes. Stiffness. Of and her right leg. now, she's she's free. Do what you couldn't do, she, my dear. She could she couldn't squat. Now she can squat. She even had a lot of problems squat going to the toilet. Any pain? Any pain? Stand up. Yeah. Any pain at all? Oh my God. Yes, please. Apostle, here is mom. She was paralyzed one side. Mama one was side paralyzed. Her body was was dead. One side. And now she's look. moving both sides. Let the camera come this My side. My goodness, look camera. at this. Mama was paralyzed. She is now moving. You are smiling. Why? You are surprised. I know her. Oh, you know her. Yes. You know her with this condition. Very well. Mama could not lift her hand, but look at what God is doing now. <laughs> paralyzed on one side. Come on, Kenya, are you giving Jesus praise? My God. Apostle, I have another one who was blind and now can see. Apostle, I was short sighted since. Okay, class short sighted, four. not completely blind. Since class four. Since class four? Yes. And right now, I can what see couldn't clearly. you see before? I could not even see clearly. Like even You couldn't see clearly? Yes. And right now? I'm so clear. Come, come. Come. Someone lift, wave a flag for me somewhere. Can you see that flag? Can you see that other one? Yes. Can you see? Aha, I'm seeing another flag. Point everywhere you see flags. Go ahead. That's right. There is somewhere there. There. And there. And there is one there. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, these were your glasses. May the Lord himself perfect this in the name of Jesus. There's another miracle. Apostle, this lady for seven years, she has been suffering. For the past three years, she can't stand on her own. She couldn't stand on her she own. She can't walk on her own, but she has walked all the way from the back to this place on her own. On her own. For the past three years. In the name of Jesus, we declare perfection. Perfection for your miracle by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please, my God. Uh, Apostle, sir, there is a miracle here. There is a lady here. She broke her spine. She broke her spine. And her left leg. The doctors told her she can never walk. And she's never been able to walk until today when the Lord touched her. She stood the longest time ever. She's walked the longest ever. Now she's okay. The power of God has touched her. Can, can she walk? Look at her. Is she able to walk? Look at her. Please don't put any pressure on her. I hope she's able to walk. She's saying, it, she's saying it herself. She has never walked. If, if she cannot, if she today. cannot walk, though. She's pushing herself. She says she can walk. Please test her. Be sure she it's, can walk. It's never happened. That's her crutch. Yes, sir. Bring it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How many years? 
hold on look at me okay she, she doesn't seem to walk look at me in the name of Jesus Christ look at me look at me I decree and declare strength right now to your limbs by the power of the Holy Spirit look at me walk careful careful walk carefully walk carefully walk carefully now I want you to lift just gently 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 give us somewhere to sit down in the name of Jesus we declare perfection for your miracle in Jesus name please help her guide her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ do we have any other miracle the prayer request please someone guide me the prayer request can can you bring them up here for all of these people who have been healed we may not have all the time but listen how many of you are giving Jesus praise for all of this look at this amazing what he's able to do listen it is my prayer that this experience will not end here tonight that every church that names the name of Christ in Kenya will begin to be a place of miracles signs and wonders in the mighty and the matchless name of Jesus Christ now I like you to please pay attention all of you I decree and declare that you are blessed you are perfected by the power of the Holy Spirit it never returns to you again in Jesus name please guide them let's have all the requests miracles are still happening my god we may not be able to take all of the testimonies you can write them you can collate them and then we'll be able to pray now watch this how many of you are yet to submit your prayer requests if you are yet to let let me know very quickly because i want us to pray right now Apostle, sir. Yes. You mentioned something about Lamba, Lamba something. Yes. There is a lady here. She. Wait a minute. She has her MRI with her here. She has her MRI scan. What happened to her? All the pain that she had in her back, in her spine, it's completely all gone. gone. All gone. In the name of Jesus. All gone. All gone. Come. Let her come. Hallelujah. Now, here's what we're going to do. Listen carefully. Please lend me your attention. Please lend me your attention. We're going to be praying over this request. Thousands of them will be crying unto the Lord. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6, it says to be anxious for nothing. But it says, in everything by prayer and supplication, even with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Are we together? What happened to you, my dear? You mentioned a pain called lumbar something. I yes. I even mentioned back pain. And it has all gone. This is our MRI. Here is the lumbar, whatever, lumbar. Oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah. So and right now it just, it's gone it, check yourself gone. look at this completely gone by the power of the holy spirit she has her medical reports here completely gone in the name of jesus he will not return to you again by the power of the holy spirit please apostle here is a big one okay she had she had a stroke stroke they did brain surgery because of cancer her left side had been completely paralyzed she had been having trauma. She could not sit, stand, listen, or write. Listen to what is happening here. Right now, she has been able to walk by herself. She has written her prayer request. And she has said it has been so long, she must come and testify by herself. Can you imagine See that? See what the Lord has done, Apostle. In the name of Jesus, let's celebrate this woman. the Lord has done. what the Lord has done. Please 
rise up on your feet and let's pray over this. There is a baby with a mirror, with a testimony here. A baby. Oh dear. This young girl has had diabetes, and tonight. Oh, look at this. How long? For how, for, for how long she hasn't told me, but she said tonight her sugars have gone to normal level, perfectly without medication for the first time. What's your name, darling? Grace Michelle. Okay, and you were sick. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare over this precious daughter of the soil, I use her to pray for the children in Kenya. In the name of Jesus, Kenya, your children will serve the Lord. Your children will love the Lord. Cultism, violence will be far from your children. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord use you mightily in Jesus' name. Apostle, can I give you one more? Oh dear. Here is one. She had a serious cancer on her belly. They even did an, a surgery on Monday. Mom. Cancer? They did a surgery on Monday. You're she sure of was, that? She was seated this whole time. She says as you prayed, something began to move in her belly. And now she is standing, walking, and she has strength. Cancer. Look at this. Now, for all of you who have come out to testify, apologies we may not have all the time in the name of jesus we declare perfection over your miracles in jesus name i pray please stretch your hands towards me we are going to be praying over these requests hallelujah now i'm going to bow my knees as we pray you can keep standing and stretch your hands i'm releasing my faith in partnership with the faith of all of our fathers of faith here and we're agreeing as a united Kenya that in the name of Jesus these Egyptians you see that you will see them no more forever go ahead and begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come is someone praying please pray we look to Yahweh Yahweh our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. Lord, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever, Yahweh, Yahweh. And He shall reign. Hallelujah. Please stretch your hands towards me and begin to declare. You are not only praying for yourself, you are praying for Kenya. Go ahead and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bring before you the requests of your people. Tens of thousands of them. Arise, oh God, and show mercy. Go ahead and pray. Jesus I speak to you prophetically that these Egyptians you see today 
in the name of Jesus you will see them no more forever I stand upon this prayer request prophetically everything that has pressed you down the same way it is under my feet let it be under your feet in the name of Jesus every long-standing issue I bring it under the feet of the cross and by the power that raised Christ from the dead I release testimonies I release testimonies I release testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah if you have your flags please bring them out now I wish we had one that had them um, but we can I thought we had one that had oh I need a large okay no problem we'll just make do now please hear me there are two more things left and we're done for tonight listen carefully we are about to pray and I'm going to be pleading with even if it's just three or four of our fathers of faith let me plead with them to please if it pleases them to come and join me here representing the spiritual voices over Kenya and here's what will happen we're going to give them the mic even if it's just for a minute by the privilege of their position as fathers and elders we are going to be making declarations over Kenya are we together now once we have that done then we will wrap up with the impartation there are many of you this is one of the reasons why the Lord brought you here to access graces superior dimensions of the anointing I like you to prepare your spirit because you are about to receive is it possible pastor Julian to have two or three of our fathers will they need to come up here I plead that if they can please let's have two or three of them let's honor the fathers as they come come on Kenya you are a place of honor you are a nation of honor celebrate them as they come they are going to be making declarations over you and over the nation of Kenya let's have as many Kenyan flags as we can find here please someone help me on this even if it's to pick that of the people holding we we'll give them back please we need the flag here as a prophetic point of contact is there someone helping us with this hallelujah beautiful thank you thank you if you have one please let's have it God bless you now while they are praying and speaking I like you to lift your Kenyan flag prophetically we're praying over the nation of Kenya the Bible says to pray for the peace of Jerusalem it said they shall prosper who love you are we together I'm going to be requesting that our fathers maybe papa can end um you can start apostle and then our daddy here and then our father will speak over kenya i'd like you to believe this is a united kenya praying right now put aside every prejudice put aside denominational barriers put aside everything we're calling upon the lord god of heaven to our eyes if we can have one or two of you beautiful I love these people let's have one stand here let's have one stand here come and lift up the flag and let's pray yes please let's pray together everlasting father in the name of Jesus Christ we come before you and we plead for your mercy and your grace upon our nation we are forever grateful for this far that you have brought us. We thank you for the peace that you gave us before the elections and during the elections and after the elections. But now, Lord, we look up unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Because, Lord, there is a supreme court case caught in the ahead of us. And, Lord, in the name of Jesus, 
it is going to define the destiny of this nation. But as a chair tonight, we come before you and we plead for mercy. We plead for divine intervention. We pray that the forces of darkness will not hijack the destiny of Kenya. In the mighty name of Jesus, we come before the sovereign court of heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus, that supersede the supreme court of Kenya. In the mighty name of Jesus, and we bring our case before you. In the mighty name of Jesus, and we pray that, oh God of heaven, you are going to decide the destiny of our nation. In the mighty name of Jesus, that the one whom you have chosen to lead Kenya, my father, is the one who is going to be granted the mantle of this nation. In the mighty name of Jesus, we cancel every demonic agenda, every evil plan. We declare Proverbs 21, verse 30, that there is no insight. There is no wisdom, there is no plan that can succeed against you in the name of Jesus. And we declare now, you shall prevail in this nation against every other plan, against every other agenda. In the name of Jesus, may you entrust this nation to the one you have chosen in this season in the name of jesus we stand before you my father declaring after this meeting the gate of revival is open in this nation and miracle signs and wonders will be happening everywhere even with ordinary believers they will be praying for the seeker they will be casting out demons in the name of Jesus, and there will be a harvest of testimonies after this meeting, and them who had come, I declare and declare, they are not going back home, the same way they came, but their lives are changed, and they are going to become a living epistle of your mighty words. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. I want you to pray for your own county right now. Kenya has got 47 counties. I want you, wherever you are standing, to lift up your hands before the Father. And start mentioning your county right now. Some of you are mentioning Machakos and Kitui and Makueni. We are mentioning, mentioning Kakamega, Bungoma and Busia. We are mentioning Transoia. We are mentioning West Pokot, Turkana, Samuru. Dear Father, we mentioned Barsabit. We mentioned Yahururu. We mentioned Kericho, Nandi, Kapsabet, Elkeo, Marakwet. We are mentioning Vihiga, Kisumu, Siaya. We mentioned Migori and Omabe. We mentioned Kisu, Kisi, and we mentioned Nyamira. We are mentioning Naro, the Kericho and Bomet. We mentioned Naro and Kajiado. We mentioned Machakos, Kitui, and Makueni, Father. We mentioned uh, Taita Taveta, Kuale. We mentioned Mombasa. We are mentioning the county of Kilifi, Lamu, and Tana River. We mentioned the county of Garissa, Mandera, and Wajia. We mentioned those counties of Isiolo and Omeru, Tarakanivi. We mentioned the county county of Kirinyaga and Nyeri and Muranga and Kiambu and Nyandarwa. We mentioned those counties, dear father, of Nakuru. We mentioned those counties of Baringo. We leave them before you, Jehovah God, in the name of Jesus Christ. And we stand here as an apostolic people. Even we mentioned Nairobi. And we declare there shall be peace in every county. Peace in every village, peace in every city, peace in every home, peace in every area, peace in every school, peace in every college, 
peace in every hospital, peace in every area, peace in every family. That is what we declare and declare that as we leave this place, Kenya, Kenyans shall dwell in peace in their dwelling places, in their villages, in their towns. They shall dwell in prosperity. They shall dwell in increase. They shall dwell under your favor. Like the words of our national anthem. Oh Lord of all creation, bless this, our land and nation. Justice be our peace and our defender. Dear Father, we pray plenty be found within our borders for everybody to share. Because we are praying this in of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And together we say, yeah. and again we say, yeah. our Father and our God, as we start on this altar under your anointing, we declare. That the bondage of tribalism is broken in Kenya today. As an apostolic team, we declare the curse of tribalism shall not prevail over this nation anymore in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare that the divisions that come upon Kenyans every time there is an election shall be no more in the name of Jesus Christ. That those are the Egyptians that we shall never see them again in the name of Jesus Christ. Our God and our Lord we stand upon this altar and declare the spirit of corruption that has been in this nation. We declare it broken tonight by the anointing upon this altar in the name of Jesus Christ that corruption shall have no place in this nation in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare that those who have sought for elective positions with a mind to eat the resources of this nation shall not succeed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every grant on the spirit shall not prevail over our leaders, over our leaders in every county, in every county, in every constituency, in every world, and in the entire nation, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare today that we are a one nation, we are a one people under God. We are a one nation. We are a one people. Under you, O oh God. Therefore, reign. O oh God, reign in this nation. We refuse ethnic clashes. We refuse ethnic clashes over this nation. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you that you have delivered us tonight as you have put this apostolic team together to declare your intent in this nation. We join in the revival that you have brought to this nation. We celebrate the revival you have brought in this nation. We celebrate, we celebrate, we celebrate, we celebrate, we celebrate, we celebrate, we celebrate.
We celebrate. We celebrate. We celebrate. We celebrate. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. Now please listen. To honor your nation and to stand in agreement with the prayers of the fathers and even in the presence of the leaders here may I request that we rise and sing your national anthem someone lead us and as your national anthem is played I want you to reflect on what you can do for your nation not just what you can get from your nation if you're a politician here, yeah, listen to me very carefully. Posterity will judge if all we do is take from the nation. Everybody here, hearing me in Kenya, you are a stakeholder in the building of your nation. No foreigner will come to your nation and build. It will take people, sons and daughters of the soil. So some of you for the first time, let your national anthem mean something true to you. Don't just sing it, it's, it's not a special number. It's a pledge and a commitment. For some of you who have sung the songs with laxity and carelessness, let this tonight plant in you the spirit of patriotism for a united Kenya, for a greater Kenya, for a higher Kenya. In the name of Jesus, please. as they return back to their seats. This is my final assignment here tonight. Romans chapter 1 from verse 11 said, For I long to see you, that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift, to the end that ye may be established. The Bible says, He sent a word to Jacob, and it lightened upon Israel. Listen, every time... God anoints a man or a people in his mind that anointing and that grace should not remain with that one individual 
that one individual only becomes a conduit are we together yes there are graces that men carry there are graces that your fathers carry and for many men of God and for many nations it is dishonor that has stopped the transference of graces every mantle is still on earth mantles don't leave the earth to heaven it is dishonor dishonor to God dishonor to men and dishonor to principles but I'm praying that by reason of this mighty crusade and this that God has done that there are ancient mantles that have been locked up within the soil of Kenya mantles that were only known about 10 20 years ago we want to redig these wells in the next five minutes if you're a pastor here you're a prophet you're an apostle now is your time to receive please listen Kenya like our fathers thought you must be a united people we may not agree in certain things but the differences are too little to cause any divide the body of Christ must be united unity does not mean uniformity you don't have to do the same thing but you can agree and have mutual respect the key to unity is number one love for God and love for nation number two the key to unity is mutual honor you cannot dishonor and downplay and demean another person's contribution and expect unity no matter how little the contribution is no matter how great the contribution is together that you build the purposes of God and you frontier the cause of the kingdom even within Kenya are we together the third key for unity is tolerance you have to create a system of accommodation and the final key to promote unity is the spirit of intercession you will hardly criticize anybody you pray for are we together rather than criticism and demeaning statements try prayer and intercession are we together now so I want to pray by the privilege of God's grace and standing upon the grace of the fathers I want to pray and release graces and also activate mantles that have been lying dormant in Kenya waiting for a generation that understands honor this is a generation that honors Jesus honors the father and honors the land you don't have to bring those under the anointing I'll just pray for you if someone is under the anointing just help them so they do not injure themselves father in the name of Jesus you have anointed us and granted us the grace to speak over nations when the Lord Jesus appeared to me he told me that every nation and every region he would send me to there must be someone in that meeting that the light that came from him to me must be transferred to that person therefore I stand by the privilege of this apostolic and prophetic office I stand upon the rod of a higher priesthood and I decree and declare let the healing anointing right now let it fall upon you take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now healing wells over Kenya be open as it was in the days of the fathers healing wells be open become a stream that brings healing to the nation in the name of Jesus I decree and declare the prophetic mantle authentic prophetic ministry my God receive that grace right now prophets arise in the spirit and the power of Elijah the eyes that see the ears that hear I activate it right now for those of you who have been working in the prophetic greater fire greater opportunity the eyes that see in the name of Jesus Christ the spirit of revelation access and insight into the mysteries of the kingdom my goodness this one is coming on many people may this mantle come upon you now take that grace right now spiritual illumination access to the mysteries of the kingdom receive it in the name of Jesus
from the back to the front from the left to the right in the name of Jesus hear me there are watchmen that must rise upon your wall he said I have set watchmen upon your wall the men that will give him no rest until Kenya becomes that which you saw in your vision until Kenya becomes that which was prophesied there are many people right now the spirit of prayer and intercession I prayed it yesterday but I'm praying right now at the count of three let it mantle homes let it mantle churches one two three take that grace now prayer fire upon your altar let your churches become a house of prayer in the name of Jesus let your homes become altars of prayer hallelujah I want to pray and release a grace that many people have not studied and understood its value it's called the grace for influence and visibility listen influence I told you yesterday is a very expensive commodity you can use influence to kill and you can use influence to build the Bible says in John 17 and verse 1 Jesus lifted up his head to heaven and he said father the hour has come glorify now thy son that thy son may bring glory to you the only way God is glorified is when his church is lifted I want to pray there are many of you who have come from your lowly estate but this mantle is about to meet you like Esther and take you to the palace so that you will preserve God's people from the hands of her man Lord I am praying upon every man woman boy and girl here in Kenya let that grace for visibility rest upon you now I pray for businesses and corporations find that grace in the name of Jesus corporate organizations in addition to the value that you provide may this grace rest upon you those in government Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Alaska de Basca Nakata Branda Catecatos, Cate Branda Catapacotosco to break a take and let a car. The face of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.